All right, 10 tips, 10 hacks, 10 guidelines, 10 rules, if you will, to help you improve your squat coming at you quick. Number one, position the bar below your traps, but on your delt. It's a very secure position. It is trapped, pun intended, by your traps from above, and it is supported by your delts from below. Number two, when you back out, take a stance with your heels at roughly shoulder width. It's a nice position, allows you to hit depth. It's not too wide, it's not too narrow. Number three, point your toes out roughly 30 degrees. This allows your femurs to travel in the direction of your toes. Again, useful for getting depth. It allows you to contribute more muscle mass in the lift, allowing your adductors to participate in driving you up out of the hole. Number four, point your eyeballs at a point on the floor, roughly four to six feet in front of you. It helps you with your back angle. It helps you lean over as you start the movement, which means it's gonna help you drive your hips up out of the hole, and you have the advantage of not looking like you've been coached by a 1990s high school football coach. Number five, take a breath and clamp down. Hold that breath with every muscle in your trunk. Don't say core unless you are a Globo Gym trainer that holds a clipboard and wears a polo shirt that's way too tight. Hold that breath, hold that Valsalva all the way down and all the way back up. If the bar is moving, you're not breathing. Number six, reach back with your hips as you start the movement. You're gonna reach back with your hips because number seven, you're gonna point your chest at the floor. While you're pointing your chest at the floor as you're starting that descent, number eight, shove your knees out. That is to say forward and out, but in other words, in the direction of your toes. Number nine, when you hit the bottom of your squat, drive your hips up. Don't think about driving your chest up, drive your hips up. And because your back has been locked in rigid extension, the chest and the bar is gonna come up as well. Lastly, number 10, stay in your lean. Stay leaned over a little bit longer than you think you should. You will get vertical eventually. Your back angle will eventually become vertical, but don't make it get vertical right away. Stay in your lean. As always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.